All right, there you go, babe. Well, I'm glad that I am going to be looking at a PowerPoint because all I see is a bunch of black squares and no faces. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Patty. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> oh, it's not fun looking at a bunch of black squares. But anyways, moving along. <coughs> um, okay. Oh, team call. Okay. Um, here we go. All right. So like Andrea said, our focus, February focus. And so we're back to basics, doing the things that are going to move our needle forward. Um, so first, I want to celebrate you guys. Like I am so excited. So many of you all hit so many um, point goals or rank goals, or you earned your consistency club for maintaining your rank, whatever it is, I want you to drop those in the chat. And if you want to unmute and share something really exciting, go for it. Like, seriously, unmute, tell us, type it in the chat. What did you earn last month? What was a success for you? And if it wasn't a point goal or a rank goal, what did you accomplish? Where do you feel proud of yourself? Because you can't go into a new month if you've not evaluated this yet. If you've not reflected back on January and what went well, maybe what didn't go so well, like I, you have to do that. So I want you to be proud of something and I want you to shout that out. All right, so let's go through these. So Huge mindset shift. Can I just say, first of all, that is even more important than a rank goal or a point goal. Like you making a difference for yourself and moving your own personal needle forward is bigger than anything, in my opinion, and so much more important. Um, mindset change, huge momentum built at the end of the month. On an inactive back on and maintain gold. Proud of how far I've come in confidence. My commitment and consistency created two silvers. Congratulations. Added three people. Congrats on silver. Raised my points by 18. In the first month, I haven't went backwards. Feel rejuvenated. My mindset is improved. Hit our team point goal that I set more team or more people sharing on the team and they are getting excited. Uh, went silver myself. One of my girls to gold, added three people. Mindset work was amazing. Um, hit the first rank, silver. Um, stepped out of comfort, zone, comfort zones, maintained gold. Beat my December points, momentum at the end of January and still going into February, had someone share. You all hear all that? <laughs> Look at all that. And not all of it was like a rank and I hit this many points. Like, look at all of that. That's huge. These are fant like fantastic and so exciting. And so I hope that you're going through and that you're evaluating like your month and how far you've came and what you've accomplished um, because it's so important. It really is. Okay. Moving along then, just let you all know that we are super proud of everybody. Okay, this is your team calendar for this month. Um, so I want you guys to um, pull out your calendar right now if you've not done that yet. And I want you to write these dates inside your calendar. So um, increase that point, out of a friend, perfect. Um, so opportunity event is the 10th, um, Wednesdays, team calls 845 every Wednesday. Um, you have a three day challenge from the 15th to the 17th. You have a pink 15 on the 24th. So those are our 15 minute, um, health testimonies on the eighth in rooted in health. That is your testimony group. And we have a simple is beautiful event. Um, so that's going to focus on like the collagen and skincare, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so get these into your calendar now. You're going to be able to. Make, is that me? Sorry. 
somebody unmute him. Let me see. Okay, I don't know. I don't see anybody unmuted. I fixed it. You're good. Okay, thanks. Um, I thought I was like, it was like want, want behind me. And <laughs> okay, so get these into your calendar, into your planner. That way, you know, February incentives, get comfortable with them. So you're 222 for membership. 10% off plus the same 2020 code still working. Every two VIPs that you sign, you are getting $50 in bonuses. So four, sign four, you get $100, right? It stacks. Every three VIPs that you add, you get 25 bonus points for your success sprint credits. Okay, so knowing these small details make a difference for your um, success sprint credits, okay? Um, the perfect match combo is the slim and collagen, the new collagen sticks. Collagen sticks are here to stay. Um, it's permanent, but um, it's 90 PV, this combo is. So be aware of that. It's only 90 PV. So it's great for add-ons. It's great for, yes, yes, go to bed. Um, and Black Cherry Slim is available in this combo, but it's only available through the 14th. Okay, so keep these fresh and make sure that you are familiar with these and you know what, um, like what you're focusing on. Okay, um, any questions on your calendar? I have any questions. Any questions on the incentives for this month? No? Okay. And if you do, we're always welcome to help. Okay. Okay, so the beginning of the month, um, I always sit down and it's really not like I sit down and I start messaging and I, I like get back to work. Okay, like I take a minute, I take like a day or two and I get familiar with my back office. I introduce myself to new VIPs that got added to my team. I make sure that three ways were created and I was introduced to new people on my team that I introduced my new VIPs to Andrea. Um, and so you can go through the list. There's one in Hope Dealers as well, but I hope that you're using these checklists to get yourself organized and planned for the month. Um, check in with new ambassadors. Introduce, your, introduce them to your sponsor in a three-way. Um, reach down and introduce yourself, levels one through three. If you want to go to four, that's great too. Um, connect with your team and map out their goals. Schedule Zooms if you need to. Um, back office checks, always checking for pushouts with subscriptions under 100 PV, your inactives, checking your perks report and your fast start report. Does everybody know how to do those things? Yeah? Okay. Fill out your planner and plan your days. Schedule in your business time and time for yourself, right? You cannot move forward if you're not making time for you and yourself. Um, make a fresh list of 20 new people to connect with. Send congratulation messages, incentives, any money that you owe, gifts for ranks. It doesn't have to be anything swanky. It can be very simple. Um, handwritten notes are very, I think, um, personal. And I always write out, I wrote my handwritten notes out yesterday. Now it'll probably be two or three days till I get to the post office because that is like the most daunting task to me. And I can like never get there like timely. It's always on my to-do list, but I get it done. Um, so handwritten, handwritten notes, always do level ones, or if somebody like went silver, if somebody had something happen on the team, I always send them a handwritten card as well. Um, plan your February. What is your personal goal? How many people are you going to sponsor personally? How many orders do you need a day to hit your next goal? Who are you working with on your team? Who are your leaders, right? What success sprint level are you at and how are you going to get to the next level? Okay, so these are the things that you need to set down and get comfortable with, right? Okay, Andrea said, take a screenshot. If you've not done that yet, these things, this is like to do like tonight and in the morning, like ASAP. These are like your first two or three days of the month, like important tasks to do. 
Does anybody have anything to add to this that you do that you feel is like beneficial? Did this cover everything that everybody does? Okay. All right. Um, before I feel like you can move on to anything in this business, you have to believe in yourself and you have to work on your personal belief. If you don't believe that you're a good leader, if you don't believe that this company can take you far, if you don't believe that these products really work, you're not going to go anywhere. So you have to have that personal belief. And so I want you to work on that. And I want you to like really sit down maybe tonight after the call and think like, where's my belief at? On a scale from one to 10, do I really believe that I can do this? Do I believe Plexus really works? Like, I'm not saying that it doesn't. Like, this is not to be like negative, but this is to evaluate where you are. So watch Diamond documentaries. Guys, some of those will absolutely bring you to tears. Um, read testimonies. Go in Rooted in Health and read over the testimonies. Um, mindset podcast, right? There's all kinds of stuff. Read a personal development book. Get a book. Get a $10 book off Amazon and read every minute, every evening for 10 minutes or 10 minutes in the morning. Like literally will change your life. Invest in a coaching, <laughs> coaching or a program. So whether it's a coaching program or like you do um, some type of like maybe niche training or whatever it is that you want to focus on that you know is going to build your personal belief, that's where I want you to focus. Um, yeah, beyond the beyond the rank is absolutely just mind blowing, honestly. And um, everybody that gets coached on Emily saying, "I'm like, oh my god, I'm that person." Like, I don't know how that happens, but like, I literally relate to every single person that gets coached on that. Um, no comparison. Everyone is on a different chapter in their journey. Okay, my chapter twenty is not the same as Andrea's chapter twenty. Your chapter seven is not the same as my chapter 20. You can't compare. And if you get stuck in comparison mode, you're going to shut down completely because you're going to think, oh, my post isn't as good as hers. Oh, my reel didn't look as good as hers. Oh, well, I didn't sign three people last month. I didn't hit my point goal. Like we can stop and com compare all day long. I can set and compare that. Emily just bought a new house. I'm trying to buy a new house. Andrea's building a house. Like, why, why, I, why am I not finding a house? You know, like you can get stuck in comparison mode in every single aspect of your life. You can compare your kids. You can compare your cards. You can compare your bank accounts. Stop. Because you're not that person, right? Be confident in who you are. I want you to realize what Cindy brings to the team and what Amanda brings to the team and what Patty brings to the team is different than what I bring to the team. And we're all valuable, right? So we all do things differently. We all show up differently. And that is okay. And that's what makes this team so great is that all of us come together differently and it just works. So don't copy and paste, right? Don't take my post and make it yours because that's not genuine from you, right? Show up as you. I want Joyce to show up as her best self. I want Cindy to show up as her best self, not copying me, not copying Amanda. So make things yours. And I want you to wake up every single day and ask yourself, what do you need, babe? Who needs me on my A game, right? Ask yourself those things. If I get tapped on the shoulder one more time, I'm going to lose it. What? Okay, go lay down. Um, let me check the chat here so I can see. Okay. And so Andrea dropped some podcast here. Yes. Comparison is the thief of joy. Be happy where you're at. Like, absolutely. You cannot, yeah, enjoy the journey. Because if you don't enjoy where you are now, you're not going to enjoy it when you're diamond. The money and the rank and the points don't change anything. Okay. It doesn't change anything. If you can't enjoy the season of business that you're in now, you're not going to enjoy it in six months or six years. 
right? Okay. Long-term game with a long-term mindset. This is not a lottery ticket. We did not join Plexus with that gold ticket, hoping that we get called next, right? You've got to give things time and patience. Like I'm the most impatient person in the world, like, and God knows that. And he loves to test me. This is why I'm eight months in a old rental house because he's like, <laughs> and it's like his humor because he's like, watch Brianna squirm a little bit more. So he knows I'm just impatient and I can't deal with things. So like I'm learning to be more patient, but if you're making changes in yourself, if you're making changes in your relationships, if you're making changes in your business, you're going to have to be patient with those changes. And Shailene um, even told us in our training in Phoenix, she was like, I'm not talking two weeks. I'm not talking two months. She's like, I'm talking long term look at what's happening in your business, in your Instagram, you know, whatever change that you're making. So we know it's 21 days to create a habit, 90 days to create a lifestyle. Think of that in your business, 90 day chunks. Why do we do quarterly contests? It works that way. Think of your business, think of your life in 90 day chunks. It'll be a game changer. Um, don't think what's in it for me right now. Think what is the long-term benefit guys? Uh, we've talked about this like so many times. This is a legacy that you're creating that can be willed to your children. You are breaking generational curses that's in your family. You're making changes positively over a long term for your family, for yourself. So don't just be thinking right now, right? Be thinking long-term. So I'm just like full of the quotes this evening. Struggle is temporary. Temporary Sacrifices are investments. Give up the short-term comfort for the long-term win. So you've got to think like it's just a season, right? The struggle is not always going to be there. It's just a phase. And so you have to look long-term, like we're in this long-term. We didn't join this to say, well, in two years, if this doesn't, if I'm not an emerald in two years, this just isn't for me, right? That's the worst thinking in the world. I would have never made it if I would have only given myself two years, right? So you, you've just got to be in it and know that, God gave you this for a reason. He gave you this purpose and you are fulfilling that purpose. And so you've just got to stick to the path. Um, yeah, I mean, affirmations, like I'm creating a million dollar business. Like you're making long-term game here. Feel the feels. Don't dismiss your feelings. Toxic positivity is truly suppressing your feelings. And toxic positivity is always thinking, oh, well, it's all, it'll be better. And you just swap the thought out for a positive one. That's not always how it works. If you're upset, feel it. If you need to get in your car and cry, do it. If you need to go work out and sweat and pump some music up or whatever, do it. Like feel it, process that, that emotion and if you're in beyond the rank, like you're really going to learn how she talks about this um, because your actions are a direct result of your thoughts. So if you're just constantly pushing your negative thoughts and pushing these negative um, emotions to the side, you're just suppressing those and it becomes a bad habit. So those are the things you don't want to do. Um, how many times have you missed the mark? I walk slowly, but I never walk backwards, right? Maybe your points fail. So what? My points fail. I'm still moving though. I didn't stop and I'm not turned around walking backwards. I'm walking slowly. You know how many leaders retreats that I didn't earn? I earned the first one. When I first started my business, I earned the cruise 
on the very last like few days of the contest, I remember like Emily at that point was like, you want to earn a cruise? And I was like, sure, let's try and earn the cruise. So we pushed for it. Well, the cruise was full. So Flexus was like, here's some money. Sorry, you didn't make it. And then <laughs> I didn't earn. Um, I think the next one was like San Diego. Didn't earn that one. Missed it. Um, and then I'm not sure how many of you know my true Emerald story, but I hit Emerald in July of last year, um, which is the cutoff for Hawaii. And then somebody returned and I literally ended the month at 1494, which was six points from Emerald. And I literally could have threw my hands up and walked away at that point. But did I? No. I hit it in August and continued to push forward from then, right? So how many times have you missed the mark? But all those times that I missed the mark didn't mean anything for my end goal. No. Does it mean anything about me as a leader? No. Quit making it mean things, right? Don't let it mean things about you because you didn't hit that rank this month, because you didn't earn that trip, because you didn't earn that prize, right? That means nothing towards the leader that you are, right? So yes, I want to hear how many times have you missed the mark? Because I know every single one on, on here have missed the mark with something, right? We've all done it. <laughs> so I just want you guys to realize like it's really it's okay like I say it all the time like nobody died did I cry yeah I cried you know how many times I cried that month pushing for emerald like I would literally get in the shower and just be like oh like somebody returned and I lost like 20 points how am I gonna make up 20 points but I got out of the shower and I kept moving, right? I may have walked slowly, but it was never backwards. You're going to have tough seasons. You're going to be in a valley. You can't always be high on the mountain. And that's just part of the journey. Like if you read your Bible at all, look at all the stories in the Bible, right? Like. Look at Joseph, like God came to him in dreams, <laughs> like for a blessed sake and like made this guy through, go through all these trials, right? But look at the end game there, right? So like, you've just got to look all around that life is not always sunshine and rainbows and it's not always perfect. And we're going to miss the mark. And we just have to be like, okay with that, right? I know it is so hard to tie, not tie your points to your worth. Um, but like you said, you can't, it's just like a neutral number. When you log in, you're like, oh, <laughs> I have 200 points today. Perfect. Right. And it just has to mean nothing. Um, missed Ruby four times, missed by three orders in November, Right. It's, and she's still here. She's still showing up. And that's what matters. Um, so this is just like emotions that I want you all to learn to process and understand that it's normal and you're not alone. And probably what you've been through, somebody else on the team has been through. And I truly believe that God gives us struggles so we can share them and help the next person behind us, right? Because now when somebody on my team misses Emerald by six points, I can say, oh my God, like I had that happen, right? That's what happens. We use our stories to help others. So, oh yeah, for sure. Like everybody in Plexus has had a rough season, right? Everybody has tough seasons. Life happens, right? That's just the norm. So 
if you stop showing up and all the work you put in was for nothing, I keep reminding myself that everything happens for a reason that happens in the perfect timing. I 100% like agree with that. Um, and no, not everybody will publicize their rough seasons, right? But if you listen to their stories, they tell you what they went through. And as you connect with people, you can really hear their struggles, right? Look at Jill Renfro right now. Jen, Jill Renfro shared in the Jewel page not too long ago that she feels like a dried up diamond. Do y'all feel like she's a dried up diamond? I don't, right? But she felt that way because she went through IVF. She went through a pregnancy and she went and had a baby and she wasn't in her business like she thought she should have been. And her points fell and her team kind of crumbled a little bit. And she shared some bits and pieces of that. And she felt like she wasn't the leader that her team needed. And so she's rebuilding right now. But that's not the Jill Renfro that you see on the YouTube videos, right? Everybody has a struggle. You just got to show up as your best self and be confident in what you have to offer. Um, walk in faith. I believe it. You're walking a journey. And as long as you have the faith that you're going to be where you are one day and you can be happy where you're at, you have to be happy where you are now. And I a hundred percent, I believe that everything does happen for a reason and that God puts you through certain struggles and certain like paths for a reason. So Thank you for the discussion on that. Um, habits of successful people. My, all my stuff's about to fall off the desk. Um, this is something that I've kind of gathered through books and quotes and like things that I hear people talk about. And um, so when you think of successful people, these are the things that you think of quality wise, right? They solve problems. And if you don't have a problem to solve, be a good leader and go create a problem and find a solution for it. They're self-aware. They think in long-term. They practice gratitude. And if you're on my team every single day, I tell you, write down two or three things that you're grateful for. I don't care that you write down that you're thankful for the butt warmer that kept your butt warm on the way to work this morning, right? You're still practicing being grateful for what you've been given. And I say, don't, don't repeat things, right? You have enough to be thankful for. Um, they hold themselves accountable. They're highly productive. They guard their time and set boundaries. They practice self-care. They're good listeners. And I feel like to be a good listener, you have to ask good questions. Um, seek opportunity, invest in themselves. Great readers, prioritize their own work. They work out regularly, avoid procrastination, journal their life and work and contribute to others. So as you look at this list, do you see somewhere where you could work on to improve your identity of a successful person, right? Where can you show up better? Do you need to set more boundaries? Do you need to pick up more books? Do you need to invest in yourself more? Do you need to work out more? Get off the couch some, put down the remote and the nutty better bars. That's me. Darren keeps buying those daggone things. Like, stop it. <laughs> um, are you avoiding things? Like, what are you needing to improve, right? but invest in myself more. Like take these habits and I want you to like work on them, right? Find something, one thing at a time and baby step it. And then once you have a new habit, go after a new one, right? Okay. Um, we are going to be doing a March book study it's Atomic Habits. 
Um, I dropped the book not too long ago in my team chat because it was on Amazon for like $11. And I know a lot of you bought it. Um, I've had it forever and just not really dug into it. But I want to share these with you guys because this is just, just these two quotes from these chapters are like, wow. <laughs> So if you want to predict where you'll end up in life, all you have to do is follow the curve of tiny gains or tiny losses and see how your daily choices will compound 10 or 20 years down the line. Are you spending less than you earn each month? Are you making it into the gym each week? Are you reading books and learning something new each day? Tiny battles like these are the ones that will define your future self. And over the long run, the real reason you fail to stick with habits is that your self-image gets in the way. This is why you can't get too attached to one version of your identity. Progress requires unlearning. Becoming the best version of yourself requires you to continuously edit your beliefs and to upgrade and expand your identity. Like, does that not want you to be like, I want to find that book. I need that book right now. <laughs> like, that's what I think of. Like, I need the book. So I'm excited. Um, we'll start in March. We'll find um, an evening. And what I would like to do, Andrew and I were talking that I would like, um, like different leaders to take a different chapter to lead on the Zoom. That way everybody gets a turn to lead a chapter and it's not the same person all the time. Um, and we, you know, can share those, um, those duties. And I don't want you to be Christina Williams, who only reads the chapter that you are teaching. Like we're going to read the whole book. Um, so get on Amazon and order Atomic Habits. That way you have it ready for March. And I know a lot of you already have it. So we'll be ready for that. Um, let's see. Okay. Open discussion. Okay. Who needs help mapping out your goals? Um, do you need help with asking for the post? Are you asking people to share? Um, are you using the, um, fast start report? Are you helping them use the referral link? Do you know how the fast start works? Where can we help you? Like what questions do you have? And I know you have questions. Don't act like you don't have questions. Okay, so Joyce says, can you explain Fast Start? So um, Fast Start does not begin until they sign up someone and upgrade their account to Brand Ambassador. And the way I understand it is the day that they upgrade is day zero. And then the next day, okay, yeah. And it backdates seven days before, there you go. Okay, so they have, I think it's 30 days. And then fast start bonus is $100 for silver. So adding three in their first 30 days. And then after that, I just use the fast start report to keep me in check because it'll tell you what they need. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. And I say that you all have questions because like I had a girl that I asked to post and she said yes, or I don't even remember what she said. And I like text Andrew and I was like, sometimes I just say too much. Like I talk too much, like help me. Like, what would you say? And so like, she gave me what to say. And then when she responded, I was like, okay, so this is what I would say. Like, what would, what would you tweak? Like, what would you do? Right. And so we were talking and it's like, if I have this question, like if I do, you all do too. Right. I've been doing this for four years. So if I have that question and I felt that way, I'm going to turn that off. Um, so that was awesome. Well, how many people have you, how many people feel comfortable getting someone fast start? Drop a one in the comments. If you're like, I am just guns blazing, know how to do it. Feel super comfortable. I'm a fast start genius. Drop a one. Drop a two if you don't really feel that comfortable. 
one and a half if you're like eh, kind that's of. what I was gonna say I was like can we be like in the middle <laughs> You feel comfortable just getting them to want it. Okay. So this is what, first of all, Brina, thank you for an amazing Zoom. That was seriously amazing. Thank you so much. I think that this was really great just to make sure that we all are on the same page for February. Um, so this is something that is so incredible and I, incredible as in fast start because maybe you're sitting here thinking and you're like, well, I don't have anyone who wants it. Like Amanda said that she is, it's getting them to want it. And so our next zoom is going to be about all about fast start, all about our onboarding system and showing you guys exactly how to walk someone through this. Um, and it does start with the belief in yourself. And it does start with you having that confidence to carry them through and the urgency and the follow-up behind that, okay? Um, and setting those expectations from the very beginning, right? So like, you're gonna ask him for the post and we're gonna get into all this. I'm not gonna go into it all, but setting those expectations when someone goes silver, for instance, it's really easy to get someone silver in 30 days. Wouldn't you guys agree? Like once they make the post, they have their wellness chat, like three people, is pretty much, especially if you lay it all flat out there for them and they're like receptive. Yes, there's gonna be people that are gonna say, sure, I'll post, never follow up. We all know that. But you can get someone, you can get someone on that. What I'm trying to say is you can get someone on that fast start track pretty easy, right? Three people in 30 days, that's very doable. And so when that happens, we have to have that expectation set going forward for them, right? And so that looks like, getting on a call with them and saying, Hey, you just added, you just help three friends. You're, you're going to make 307 bucks or 300, whatever the incentive is that month. And then saying, where do you want to go from here? Do you want to help some more friends? Like, you know, here's what's available next. And if they're like, sure, you like, that sounds great. That sounds easy. Like, let's do it. You tell, say, okay, senior silver is next. Like, this is what's happening. And here's what I need from you. Like 15 minutes every, you know, every other day or three days a week, 15 minutes for me to help you make a post and, and things like that. Because I feel like a lot of the times that's where we can get someone silver because we had about 18 to 20 silvers last month. Okay. So we can get someone silver, but it's getting them past silver. So will you guys drop or unmute yourself? Why, where you feel maybe the point of getting someone silver and then getting them past silver. What is the hardest part about that for you guys? Because I want to, I want you guys to give me some feedback so I can come and help you guys next Wednesday on our call. I think when the people like get them silver and then the next month they have people drop off and I think they just, you know what I mean, kind of freeze. Does that make sense? Okay. So that is also, yes, that does make sense. And so that is also you helping them to make sure that that is the right sign up, right? That's not someone who's saying, I don't know about the cost. I don't know if I can afford it. That is you helping them see, okay, like this, this person might not be a good fit right now because maybe they can't afford it this month or, you know, they're stalling, they're taking too long to get back and you're, it's the 19th follow-up, those kinds of things. So that's just, I feel like maybe upping our prospecting to be a little bit better and stronger and not just taking anyone on. Um, I think that's also helping them, you know, follow up, learn how to follow up, um, and that is you getting in the chat with them and saying, hey, like you, I think communication is a really big thing. And you saying, hey, listen, I'm going to help you follow up with your brand new people. And I want you to watch how I do it. But then you're also going to show them our follow-up system. And you're going to say, hey, do you see what I'm talking about? Like when I checked in with them, this is week one, this is how we're doing it. And I think it's a lot, it's you guys, I'm going to be honest, getting someone to silver is easy but developing a business builder from that silver is dedication, okay? I think a lot of the times we expect them to do the, all the work on their end and then and we're like, well, they, they're not doing anything. So, I mean, if they wanted this, they would be doing it, right? And that's not true. That is where we have to come in and be that force behind them 
and, and talk to them about what they want. Ask them, what, what do you want out of Plexus, right? Like if you've helped three friends, you made 300 and some dollars. And if you're sitting here shaking, you're like, oh, I don't want to like scare them off. Like, I don't want to scare them off. Well, they, they just signed up three people made 300 bucks. Like that's a really great segue to have, Hey, you just made $300. Where do you want to go with this? Do you want to do, do you want to continue and help some more friends? Like, here's what you can earn. Um, tell me what you want. Right. And then that's where you can go from there. And I think that helping them along the way and going behind the scenes with them and saying, Hey, did you see how I like basically modeled the first week of the follow-up with this person? I didn't necessarily ask every question. It was a very conversational, um, you know, uh, message and things like that. Just really thoroughly helping them instead of, I really believe quality over quantity, instead of trying to have your hands in so many different things, it's if you've got someone, love on them, ask them what, like, what, what could Plexus do for you? Like, what, can, what is this $300 going to do for you? Great. Let's make a post about that. Right. Like urging them to do those things, um, and not giving up on them. Right. And so I want, I, I, I we are going to talk about fast start. How confident do you guys feel about our onboarding system? Does everyone know where the onboarding system is? I can't see everyone's face, but can you drop a one in the comments if you know how to work our onboarding system? Do you know what an onboarding system is? No, Brianne Henson does not know what an onboarding system is. Okay. Um, thank you for being honest. Okay, so onboarding is when you ask someone for the shout out, they do the shout out, you help them follow up. Um, it is under units in Rise Up Village. It is, I think it's this first or second unit. Um, and it walks you exactly how to get someone to silver basically. Um, and that's the shout out, helping them follow up with the messages, getting in three ways, doing the wellness chat. And then you guys, I know a lot of the times too, um, is when we get past that first wellness chat and we're like, Okay. Cause you guys know, like a brand new person has a ton of interest. Like, you know what I mean? Like they, they invite to the first wellness chat. And so I remember asking Brooke Hemingway, I was like, what, she got a girl, like fast start gold in one month. And I was like, what, give me some, like, what are you, what are you doing? She's like, rinse and repeat. I had two wellness chats for her that month. I had one at the beginning. I had one at the end and she invited different people. Right. And so it's like, we always think, okay, we've done all of that. What should we do next? go back to, go back to step one, have them make a post. Like, I think we always just stop. We like check that onboarding off. We're like, okay, they made a post. I got the three ways. That's it. You know, it's like, okay, have they made another post? Let's get them to make another post, right? Give them the post, guide them through this. You guys, you guys know how to do it. If you are silver and above, I promise you, whatever rank you are, you can get someone else there. You just have to trust yourself and believe in yourself. And so these are things that I feel like maybe we have not honed in on so much as a team and that we're going to get really good at um, because this is how you're going to grow your business. Um, this is how you're going to have that sustainability and that reoccurring paycheck and helping a lot of people and vision casting and having other people on your team be blessed by the Plexus opportunity, right? Just like you've been blessed. And so um, if you want to message me directly and say, Hey, this is what I would love to hear on the team call next Wednesday. If it has to do with our onboarding duplication and retention, um, that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on next, next week. Um, please let me know. I'm always open for feedback, anything like that, because the best way that I'm going to learn, or I'm going to know how to train you guys or what you guys need is if you just come to us and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. And it was kind of like a light bulb moment when Brianna was like, Hey, what do I say? I say too much. And I was, and we both were like, wait a second. If I'm, if she's having these questions, definitely other people are having these questions in their head. Right. And she's like, I just am too wordy. And so I think maybe if we have a flow, would, would a, like a, like a flow chart help you guys of like how I would go through a conversation. Of course, like everyone's going to, I want you to have your own words and everything, but maybe just having an example of when, when someone starts of how to ask them, you know, Hey, this is this, this is that, this is this. And so if that would be helpful, I'll definitely put that, I can put something up, um, and have that with, for you guys. Um, 
how do you guys feel? And this is really, I'm going to jump off, but how do you guys feel about our follow-up system? Would you guys like more of a detailed, like in a PDF form, like this is the follow-up system instead of having like 10 different ways to follow up, would you like something to say, okay, day one, this is what you do. Day three, this is what you do. Day four, and just be able to have that right there to look at. Would that be helpful? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. So we're gonna get real cleaned up, nice and tidy <laughs> for 2022. I feel like, um, like I said, I really, I don't really wanna revamp the onboarding system, but I wanna update it with things that we've done, that we've kind of gotten over the last um, three years, because it's been since 2019 since I created this onboarding system. <laughs> and so it works, it definitely works 110%. If you work it, um, but I think we've done we've done a lot of different things and just verbiage and things have switched. And so um, I want to really clean that up. And that way, when you guys go to the file section or when you guys go to whatever, you're not approached with or you're not viewing 17 different files of how to follow up. Like to me, that would make me freeze and be like, I don't know which one's right. <laughs> like, I mean, they're all going to be right, but like to pick the one, you know, like me, I'm like, okay, is it this one? Is it this one? You know, so I want to make sure that you guys have, you know, whatever. And obviously I always encourage you, like, if you're like, this doesn't sound like me, by all means, like make it sound like you. These are just examples and suggestions. Um, but the, but the flow of it is really, I mean, even Plexus wide, all, I mean, the jewels that I talk to that are my silent sisters, like all this. Our, all of our things are very similar. It's just like a small word tweak here. <laughs> it's like something here. So um, that's also like really great that I love that, you know, how we do things is company wide. Um, it's just really, it just reiterates just putting those things in action and having that force behind it. Um, so anyways, fast start, we're going to talk about fast start. We're going to get really good. So I want you to write down somewhere that you are the retention queen and the duplication queen. I want you to write that down and I want you to have it somewhere where you can see it. Um, and then really quick before we get off, I want everyone's goal. I usually don't give goals to you guys unless you come with me, <laughs> come to me with your own, but I want everyone to go silver this month. That is my goal for you, is for you to sign three people up and get one per and duplicate one person silver with our training. And so before we hop off, I want you to write down three names of three people that you are going to focus on this month, three names of people that you want, that you truly are like, that, that, that is out of your comfort zone. Someone that maybe, maybe isn't someone that you followed up with 16,000 times that you're, that's an easy shot, right? Like let's get out of our comfort zones a little bit and let's go prospect higher. Let's th think about someone that you're like, I have been really nervous to message her whatever, whatever, but I think she would be amazing at this opportunity. I think she would really benefit from the products. I want you to write three people down and I want you to put this somewhere where you can see it. I don't care if it is with lipstick on your mirror, okay? I am a duplication and retention queen and three names. And what I want you to do with those three names is I want you to go and love on them. Starting tonight, when you get off, I wanna show you how easy it is to go and like their post and comment, a genuine comment. If they have a story that is up, try to get in their story and say, hey girl, like whatever it may be, like that recipe looks so great. What's the, like, can you send me the link to it? Something to get that connection started, right? And then what this is going to do is you're going to funnel that. And then you're going to invite them to one of our things that we have this month, right? We have really awesome, simple, easy events to invite to. And so my idea is to get people from the opportunity zoom to invite people to our three-day challenge. And then from our three-day challenge, get those people to invite their friends to the pink 15. So it has a flow. So we're constantly funneling people into these events. You know, even if they don't sign up, you could say, Hey, listen, like maybe they just need one more, one more thing. Maybe they, they need to hear Allie's story on the pink 15, whatever it may be. Like maybe they need to hear one more story. And you're like, Hey, do you have a friend that you could invite or Hey, from the opportunity event, like, thank you so much for coming. We're doing a really fun, like three-day challenge next week why don't you grab a friend and you guys go in and like grab a box and join us for our three-day challenge. Like just think about if you could just say, Hey, grab a friend. It's 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. And you would send them out and say, I'll cover shipping because shipping's free anyways. So you're like, I'll cover shipping for you and your friend. Like 
let's get as many people as we can into this three-day challenge. Go ahead and start messaging. Um, in Rise Up Village and in Hope Dealers, just type in three-day challenge. You guys will be, there's so many resources for a three-day challenge. We have under the albums, there are graphics that are already made, that are beautiful, that you can use. Go ahead and start, get ahead. Don't wait until three days before the event to start posting about it. Post about it now. Do an unboxing type thing. Grab your products, grab the Slim, grab your Metaburn and just go live and be like, hey guys, I just want to let you know, like we're having a three-day challenge. These are so fun. It's a really quick way for people who are on the go to learn about our products, to taste them. It's a really great way just to see if you like the flavor of it, learn a little bit more and then talk about the products that are gonna be in it. And it doesn't matter if you have all of them, you can have a, the stick of slim and be like, this is one of them that's gonna be in here. And I, and you could even be like, I literally am out of my lane because I love it so much and I'm waiting for it to come in my order, but here's why I love it. And here's what it's done for me. And so just doing these things, and this could be something you do every month. Like you don't, you don't know, like a lot of people don't see you know, the stuff you post. So like, just because you did it last month doesn't mean that the same people are gonna see it this month. Um, so these are just some ideas that I think that would really be great. Here's another thing, Heather Downing, she's going to have, I think she and I both are going to have, um, our well, a wellness chat for ourselves <laughs> next week. Like, so if you haven't had a wellness chat for yourself in a while, since you started, do that, host your own, say, Hey, I'm going to just be putting on a quick little, like 15 minute wellness chat for myself. Um, you know, you don't say for yourself, but like, just to give some info to some friends, I've had some people interested. I thought of you, would you like to come? It's going to be at 8 30, 15 minutes quick information, like generate things where you can get more people into your funnel. And so these are just some ideas that we're doing. Um, and I want to share with you guys, because honestly, you could have a wellness event for yourself every single month, right. And invite different people. I mean, you know, like doing these things just because you've done it once, doesn't mean you can't do it again and again and again and again. And that's the best thing about this is because it's super duper simple. It's just, the consistency behind it and the urgency behind it. So anyways, those are some ideas. I think we're going to be off to a great start for February. Um, go check out the videos that Emily has been posting in Hope Dealers with the February focus the, only on day two. The first video was awesome. Today was awesome. Just a little extra something. I know Heather and Allie are doing um, that for their team as well. So just, you know, fill your brain with some good stuff. Go up and copy the podcast that I dropped in there. Um, and Hope Dealers, there's also under the pen post, um, there is like a resource uh, graphics. So drop your favorite books and favorite podcasts under there so you guys can share and we can all go and grab those. I'll drop that list in there as well. Um, but let's just really crank it out, map yourself out if you haven't done it yet. You can't get excited about where you're going if you don't know what you need to be doing and you don't know where that end goal is. So make sure that you know, go in, get your predicted points for the end of the month. Say, okay, this is the month I'm going to go Ruby. This is the month I'm going to go senior goal. This is the month I'm going to do it. And I'm going to, and I'm not going to wait until the 28th for when my points settle. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put that work in this week, next week, strategize. And so if you need 20 people, that's five people a week, right? So make sure that you have that and that'll be easier on you. That way you don't have to be like crazy town at the end of the month. Okay. So bye you guys. Thank you so much again, Brianna. That was wonderful. And it's a short month. Oh, February. So we have, I mean, honey, we're basically halfway through right now. It's only the second. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it will creep up on us quick. <laughs> All right. Bye you guys.